So hi guys, so I'm here with my boss, Mr. Dinkra. Then uh, <laughs> this one be long overdue. I don't want make her make her hear your kick from the Buji Banting interview you do. What be your general assessment on the comment he made about Afrobeat? You see? What Buju said, yeah. it will take an in-depth thought, like something you for think about um, okay. carefully okay. to really understand him. Okay. Mind you, Buju has been away for over a decade. He okay. was in prison for a very mm -hmm. long time. Yeah. And I'll be Rasta, so yeah. I know what I did talk about. Reggae music, yeah, dancehall music, mm -hmm. ska, all these genres. Are they take my time? Yeah, 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 I know. They weren't basically meant for dancing. Okay. You get it? Yeah. Dancehall music was aimed at conveying a message. Okay. No, let me say reggae music instead okay. was aimed at conveying a message. message. And okay. as Rastas. We had preachers conveying okay. messages through reggae, okay. like Bob Marley, yeah. Peter Tosh, yeah. Benny Spears, yeah. right? To the current uh, people, yeah. Lutan Fire, Kipliton, Buju himself, yeah. like all these people, they spread the gospel of Rastafari mm -hmm. through reggae. Okay. And reggae was aimed at educating, liberating people and all that. Now, it's Afrobeat music doing the same. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect no. Okay. In terms of percentages, mm -hmm. most reggae music are conveying a message. Okay. And in terms of percentages, most Afrobeat music is mm -hmm. aimed at entertainment. Okay. Now okay. you understand Buju's disappointment. Mm -hmm. He okay. would wish maybe Africans or mm -hmm. those. Um, we came to meet, mm -hmm. like the generation before us, yeah. the high life people. Yeah, yeah. Their songs mostly carried message messages, yeah, like yeah. the high life yeah, songs. High life songs, yeah, definitely. Yes, 100%. but in our era, mm -hmm. the general way they trend now across Africa, be mm -hmm. Afrobeats, Afrobeat. and there is a lot of genres under the Afrobeat okay. umbrella. Okay. Now, most of these songs coming out. It be music and dance. It be love songs mm -hmm. like yeah, like the advices no share that day inside, inside okay. like that. So that's all that Abuju is saying. But you know, sure say, in a way, you guys today talk say, mm -hmm. right now the music industry it changed. Mm -hmm. As you talk for your yeah, comment, you yeah. make. Where at the end of the day, I they feel say to me, every genre. Or every artist then he approach to a subject oh, yeah. matter when it comes to his style of music or when it comes to how conscious or i mean at the artist rights elements that that be where the artist go go say okay i don't want to record this particular song this be what are they feel in me mm -hmm. but for you that me you know see no artist go go studio then talk say what did they go record you know get message for the thing oh, there, there, are, there are songs like that yeah i don't i don't want to cite examples but there are okay. songs you can typically say this is just for entertainment purposes. Okay. But at the end of the day, they, they send something. They talk something. Yes. And the message they convey, is it a positive message? Is it a conscious message? Okay. Is, it, is it something advisory, like something okay. Okay. Um, sensible? Okay. So here lies the case. Sometimes to these same people will talk with you. If we write and, articles to articles, they will get bad publicity. Then we yes. get good publicity. And, so and it will not be the same as the music thing. Like dancehall music. Uh -huh. eh? Yeah. Dancehall music, not every dancehall song makes sense. Thank you. You get it. Uh -huh. Not every dancehall music makes sense. Mm -hmm. Not every reggae music makes, makes sense. sense. Okay. But in terms of percentages, it's very obvious. Reggae music carries messages. Like our old folks. Okay. There are people. I grew up in a house where reggae is played 24 7. Seven. Okay. That'd be my house. My uncle always they play music. Mm -hmm. I always get the Benny Spears there, Eric Donaldson, yeah. you get it. Yeah. That was it. But now it would be difficult, let's say someday when I'm 
in my old ages, how many songs where can I, I, feel, where I, I will feel play, make my yeah, kiddie yeah, listen, listen to? My Unless life. I go back to what my father they play. They play. So in you, a way, you, you, I never understand. I never like, let me let me make it let me make my point clear okay. again. When we were growing up, okay. our fathers were listening to reggae music. Okay. Or conscious music. music. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. And by them listening to it, it had some influence on us. Mm -hmm. Good. So someday when we are also in our 50s, 60s, what songs are we going to play for our kids? So fee, I mean this be where are they come uh, are they talk to you, are they understand where you mm -hmm. come from. But the reality is if we we day one of 50s then 60s or 70s, you know they expect say we go play those songs. We are not that that be the problem be what, with Buju the try site be uh -huh. say that there will be more of when we are 50, 60, mm -hmm. unless we go and play the KK Kabobo songs again. But it, there is nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong. So that means the 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 consciousness we say our generation for creates conscious music for our kids to listen to. So okay, let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. Not every artist will do it. But Kenata they do one. Hallelujah. So the <laughs> the whole point we say there should be more of Kenatas. Samini to they do one. Thank you. Stoneboy they do one. Thank you. Wale they, they do one. Thank you. But Episode, then the rest of the guys to the whole more. point, like, mm -hmm. like I'm saying, there should be more of that. It's very um, obvious there isn't. So, okay. more of an awareness, say, yo, Charlie, um, the fully enough of the foolish songs, mm -hmm. enough of the foolish songs. Reg Rockstone in his days even said, or don't you know, also, as I say, it's the same. Even that time, he realized, yo, Charlie, the love songs playing, they make me do some conscious music. Okay, so, but the love songs too were carrying a message, Fifi. There's nothing wrong with love songs. There, even the danceable songs uh -huh. or the uh, entertainment songs, mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with them. Okay. There's nothing. I'm not saying, yo, once a while, we, we can't be serious 24 7. That would be true. Yeah. It'll be true. But. <laughs> But it shouldn't we shouldn't get carried away. Okay. You understand? Okay. We shouldn't get carried away. Um like like they will say, oh too much foolishness. You get carried okay. away. Okay. Okay. So I don't know what you guys also they think about whatever my chairman because me I do my review already. Yeah. And people bombard me small. Some to they agree with what are they talk. Yeah. Some to never buy the idea of what are they talk. But mm -hmm. all the same, that's why me too are the one your perspective. Yeah. That's why with the start time on this on this note. Now because I don't say you be conscious, my dad will ask you oh, that no, question. No, no. Yeah. Oh, but, so no. fast forward, chairman. Now this be the main issue on board. The main yeah. issue be say Grammy bring some article B. And this article it has omitted one artist in the person of Stoneboy. Yeah. And he was on Twitter. And then mm -hmm. he tweeted I mean because we didn't use Twitter, so the X and things you know, you <laughs> sometimes you forget. So yeah. he posted that I mean the board should do their due diligence mm -hmm. and then we I mean more or less like rewrite the article. More or less mm -hmm. like I'm just maybe I yeah. might not quote him verbatim, but yeah. that's what he was saying. More or less like Charlie, the article is not complete yet because yeah. there are some missing names in there, mm -hmm. which I mean he came out to voice out on his platform on X. So I don't know, I don't know. But Fifi, what you think? You you think say Stoneboy in name for day inside this Grammy article? And on the headline of the article was ten essential hip life artists or something like that. That's why I might not quote the yeah. article very well. well. But that was the headline given: ten essential hip life. On top of the general hip life, yeah, it's a very sensitive thing for me. Okay, because I have great love for hip life. Okay. Yeah. Um, I grew up on it. Okay. Ninety seven. Okay. When it all was up there, that, yeah. was, that was the year. Yeah. I was very young though, but yeah. that was when it all started for me. And I know the bits and pieces of it. Okay. It came from somewhere to where it is today. Okay. Now back to the story. Mm -hmm. Someone does an article. Okay. And should mention 
the pioneers of the journal. Okay. Panji, mm -hmm. Reggie himself, mm -hmm. Rutai, mm -hmm. Achiame, mm -hmm. Lord Kenyas, mm -hmm. um, Sydney, mm -hmm. Nanano, mm -hmm. Abrewanana. Mm -hmm. um, those before the year 2000 Thousand came, yeah. But first of all, in the article, it had those names that you mentioned. Yes. But with the exception now, of Sydney, like, whose name was not featured yes. on uh, you, the article. You see, yeah. with Stone Boy, yeah. Stone Boy, if we talk of pioneers of hip life, okay. no one would ever make a list of pioneers of hip life and put Stone, Stone Boy's, Boy's name in there. No. Okay. Right. <laughs> there is a, there is a um, talk of the genesis of Stone Boy and the genesis of hip life. Yeah. Even the end days of hip life. That'd be where no, he, he came in. So okay. nobody would ever make that mistake, mistake. of bringing yeah. him there. Yeah. 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 That's the point. Okay. But now, if we talk of Ghana music currently, mm -hmm. if anybody is to do an article about yo top five Ghanaian artists mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. Stoneboy would be there. Oh, that one there, yeah. But not in terms of the genre of the music. No. But and even okay. if anybody would ever do a list of top ten hip life artists, artists. now. I doubt if Stoneboy would make it. Okay. But is Stoneboy, is Stoneboy not doing hip life? You see? Because the reason why I'm saying is, is he not doing hip life is that he also grew from hip life. Yeah, people... Hip life is a genre. Okay. Hip life is a genre that can clearly be defined. Yo, like the same way we have Afro-pop, Afro-beat, yeah, yeah. uh, ragga, yeah, dancehall, yeah. reggae, ska. Yeah, yeah. Hip life could be defined or can be defined. Okay. But in the definition of hip life music, mm -hmm. yo, the tennis is square and you are creating round, but you want it to be classified as those who are doing that. That's general. It hasn't doesn't okay. fit in. Unless we are we are refusing to be honest. Okay. Okay. Right? In all honesty, there are people, very few artists are doing okay. um hip life music. Now. Okay. Very few. Okay. You could be mentioned something. Above for Raphael. Okay. Yeah, he he has been championing. Um, the whole hip life thing. Okay. Um, I know Fifi Silla okay. too. Um, very few. And no, with the, with the it's like of people the feel first, the first name yeah. you mentioned, which I know definitely. Hey, Fim 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 Fim. Oh, okay. please forgive me. Yeah, Fim Fim okay. should have been the first name to okay. come up. Okay. Fim Fim is. Fim Fim even have. Um, he has this. A whole hip life. A whole hip life album. Album. Okay. He won an award or got nominated for the VGMs okay. for that. Okay. Yeah. And, um, yeah, there, there are people okay. doing it. But these days, it's like people feel ashamed to call their music hip hop life. life. But don't you think that it's the same? I mean, I mean, like you said, it's the same true high life hip life that Beth Afrobeats to me. That is what me, I can say. You see, this, this confusion of Afrobeats, uh -huh. there's a whole lot of. <laughs> but don't you think hip life and let me, let me, uh, high life and hip life birth the Afro beat? That is to me. Oh. Okay. That that's what I think. I've, I've been running away from this because do you know the reason why I'm saying that. You, you, okay. I've been running away from this discussion. Mm -hmm. Okay. For a very long time, but let me touch on it briefly. Currently, mm -hmm. they classify all genres of music mm -hmm. from Africa mm -hmm. as Afro beats with an S. Okay. Okay. So if they classify all genres of music from Africa as Afrobeats, where that nice, that means hip life, high life, all go under that umbrella. And we have, there's there are two things. There's an Afrobeats without the S and Afrobeats with the S. Okay. The one without the S. That's also another genre on its own. On its own. Okay. And that particular genre is an offspring of high life music. Okay. Same way hip life is an offspring of high life music. Mm -hmm. So when Reggie... Now let, let's touch briefly on the mm -hmm. origin of hip life mm -hmm. music, right? Back then, in the early 90s, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Hip hop had just been Better around the world, mm -hmm. and our brothers here, our elder brothers, mm -hmm. try to imitate 
the hip hop thing. Mm -hmm. But doing it in our local way, way mm -hmm. with our local language. Okay. So you hear a DMX song, hey, Maba, mm -hmm. oh, Maba, X Do. Yeah. yeah. Stop, boom, boom, stop. Mm -hmm. boom. You know, you hear some hip hop song, mm -hmm. and our brothers try to create a Ghanaian feel of it. Feel of it. Okay. Then they termed it hip, hip life. life. Okay. Okay. You, you, you understand? Yeah, adibab, adibab. So, and it's had this high life fusion mm -hmm. or touch to it. Okay. Because there were times the elderly folks weren't even ready to play those songs because they felt like oh this will be the thing the kiddies they do mm -hmm. so the kiddies too feel say okay then we go add the old boys them attach to arm to arm okay okay hmm. you, you you get a whole hip life thing okay so the old boys then they listen to high life music, high life music yeah. and we are doing the urban or the current yeah, yeah. trend which is the hip and the life. old those days there were very few radio stations and okay. these radio stations are not ready to play us yeah, yeah. so okay if they, they are not ready to play us then we will also add the, the our high life to, to it. it okay and the nigerians were also doing their own why you go talk that you put, go bring nigeria matter no 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 side. because because of the <laughs> afrobeat thing you okay, said okay right? right they were doing their own mm -hmm. right yeah and even Ghanaians were still doing their Ghanaian songs which are afrobeat um, talk of the Nigerian thing. Mm -hmm. eh? Yeah, the Nigerians were doing their thing. Okay, when the hip life was moving, okay, they were also doing their thing, mm -hmm. and even before the hip life thing. But they chose to move more of the Afrobeat. Okay, so the Afrobeat will be general on its own, mm -hmm. like the way we get uh, pop, yeah. um, ska, reggae, dancehall. Yeah. Afrobeat be general on its own, own, own but the Nigerians were doing more of the Afrobeat okay. whilst we were doing our high life, the, the hip, hip lives. Life. Okay, you get it. Yeah. But currently, like world, even not just Africa, but world music, it be the Afrobeat, the move, mm -hmm. and people want to cash out, they want to make more money, so they don't see the need to move with a hip life vibe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because that that be what it did in the system. Yeah, people want to cash out. Everybody is doing it for the money. Okay. okay. You understand? Yeah. yeah. So that be our the okay. Thing so right now, no, we stone they talk about it. Name no day inside, you know. My question is, which uh -huh. part should his name be? Maybe as the pioneers. If if there was a sentence okay. which is to make mention of the current top artist. Uh, championing Ghana music, then he should be there. Okay. Okay. But unless we want to lie to ourselves, say, you okay, know, you get it. Okay. Rutai, Panji, um, Kwekuti, mm -hmm. Talking Drums, uh, Eddie Blay. Mm -hmm. People don't even know this. Eddie Blay, uh, Dead Body. Mm -hmm. they are, there were people who do well, this. Names like Eddie Blay, Dead Body were not featured in, in, in there. Yeah. Um likewise names like music producers like um JQ. Me, no, even even JQ, before the JQ's Zap Mallet. Zap Mallet's names were was yeah, featured was, in yeah, there. Zap Mallet. Yeah, Zap, Zap was featured um, in there. I've forgotten. There are lots. Yeah. So I think to, I think you know, maybe JQ learned from Fred, Fredima. So okay. if I put in JQ then what of Fredima? So I think Fredima <laughs> names too was <laughs> you featured get it. in there. Yeah. Hmm. The appear twos, you get it. Yeah, I think appear twos name uh -huh, in, the, so. in the article as well. But I, I think um, I don't know where Stoneboy is coming from, and maybe unless he, maybe he himself come out to come in. Yeah, no, but Stoneboy is that point. Stoneboy I mean, is not but, wrong. Yeah, in any it's way, not wrong. But he is he, saying that yo, if you're going to talk about Ghana music, I should be there. Okay, but if Shatawale okay. is there, then, then I should, should be there. there. Okay, because Shatawale is not. Uh, you see. This country sometimes it be difficult to be honest. But if you, but if you, yeah. Yeah. when yeah. when the Shatawali joining the whole train there, mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's what I think. If 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 we are putting in um, Shatawali Samini serve, right? Or you, unless 
Castro, Pope Skinny. Okay, he introducing uh, Wale in the article was like bandana when he was bandana. even in the days of but yo know, when did the when was 2004 2003 people day people day people day before the bandana mm -hmm. unless some favoritism won mm, yeah you know people 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 mm. people day killer's day before Charlie and if if day. wale himself would be honest there are people before me the yogi doggy the sony bali okay let's say that Raga people, mm. General Marcos. Mm -hmm. Many people don't even know General Marcos. So the you, Rocky Dawuni. Okay, so you, you should <laughs> see. In this case, you no. Know, the artists themselves are at fault. The reason why I'm saying this is that they are at fault because they didn't write their own history. They they are they are working. They are, I know, but they are working. They are writing okay, their own history. history. These days. Social media is there for all of us okay. too. But in terms of, I mean, when yeah. it was the analog days. No, but if you want to find out when you, you, Mokoho was released, mm -hmm. you would know. I know, but I'm talking about the analog days where, at the end of the day, maybe. Okay, let's, not even the artists, mm -hmm. the media too is also part. How? In terms of maybe we not telling the story, how these whole things started. See, bro, the thing, it did. I, I personally, at a point, wanted to even shoot a documentary for hip life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but someone or two, you know, if you happen. The stories, he did. You meet um, Raymond Kwekutechi, that's mm -hmm. how I call him. Pa mm -hmm. Padogo. Mm -hmm. You meet Padogo, he will give you the genesis of Hammer. You meet Obrafo, he will tell you how the whole thing started. They will tell you how Deba even came in. They tell you, um, this guy, Rutai, mm -hmm. uh, you know. I was in back in the days. Ruta was a radio presenter in Tadi. There, there are stories. Unless we don't want to ask, if we, if whoever wrote the story want to find out, he would know. If you want to know, because oh, I, I'm sure maybe the information out there was scanty. That is why the guy had to also. No, 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 no. If if you, unless, excuse my French, people are lazy. People are lazy. Tiny, yo, you featured <laughs> back then. Tiny was like our black sheriff. Tiny, Tiny was featured in. in yes, the but what I'm trying to say is, yeah, Tiny, Tiny was, was the black, black sheriff. sheriff. Okay. You can Everybody wanted him at a Pop Skinny. Yeah, Pop Skinny. Yeah. Pop Skinny too. At a point was like the black sheriff. Everybody needed Pop Skinny's verse on their first album. <laughs> Charlie <laughs> Castro, <laughs> Castro, Pop Skinny. Yeah, they, 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 are, they are people who, who know they talk. You see Pop Skinny, me, let me let me say I worship him. Pop Skinny was like, yo, Castro, they come out, he needs a Pop Skinny verse. Or Comfort Quade, they come, he needs a Pop Skinny verse. For X4, they come, he needs a Pop Skinny verse. You get it? At the same time, the same thing can be said for Tiny. You see Tic Tac, mm -hmm. whatever is happening now, I don't want to mention names, TikTok has done it times 10. TikTok at a point was like the biggest export. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, that's for that one. Yeah, yeah so stories day, unless people know one here. Eventually, to me, I refuse to ask myself to tell the story. You know one thing I like about Sarko here? Yeah, he's, he's writing his own he's story. He's writing he, his own story. He's because making it known. To, yeah? to, the, to, the sense, to, the, to the sense that, Charlie, for you to create a whole museum for yourself because of this rapper how like a 10 10 another fantastic idea which to me i felt like most of these things should be done by some of our artists <laughs> because most of them you, you know the reason why they talk this business most of them know they cherish um these things because today till today fifi mm -hmm. you know what we tell me say you go any veteran artist in there i stand to be corrected though you will go see the old VGMA plaque way there in the oh, people get. Some get, but some no get. Oh, I, I, I visited the Nakwame okay. once, and it was an honor. I, I worked with him briefly. Okay. Yeah, okay. I saw most of the old plaques. For the plaques, most of them keep it. Okay, yeah. all right. So, but I think they should create their own museum. And also, Charlie. The music, you know, they pay where the money they come from, too. <laughs> but, but the reality is, but on the real, they mm. try to create 
than to try create some vision for the Ghana music industry. Make the Ghana music it's, it's, industry it's, tell them. It's, it's a necessity, you know. You know, like for years, artists have been championing yeah. this, um, talking to the authorities. Like, yeah, there, the there's a lot time. to be done. There's a lot to be done, but yo, it will happen. It will happen. Enough of the bashing and all that. It will happen. We are in a better day. Things are getting better. So you will happen. <laughs> yeah, big up yourself.